So this is a quick example to demonstrate uh, the relationship of batteries when they are connected in series. And so first we need to uh, make sure we understand the convention. So we need to understand our path of travel. So for example, uh, from this point, uh, point A to point B, if we're traveling in the direction from A to B, then we will uh, look at the battery and you'll notice that it's uh, a long line, short line, long line, short line. So if we encounter a long line first in our direction of travel, then that's going to be uh, plus voltage. So now if we're going from B to A, then we see we would encounter the short line first, so then that would be a negative voltage. So as we travel along the paths, we just add up our voltages accordingly, and they'll either be a positive voltage or a negative voltage. So let's look uh, at a quick example uh, when we do this. So uh, the first one they ask us to calculate is VAD. So uh, doing that here, VAD, um, we look at uh, our direction. So the, our direction uh, of travel then is going to be in this direction from B A to, to, to from the voltage at A to the voltage at D. And so as we travel uh, along that path, so I'll just go down it. We've come into this counter this first battery. We hit the long line first. So uh, we're going to write this as uh, VAD. Get my pen right. say then that VAD is going to be equal to the first battery, which we said was plus 10. And as we continue uh, down this path, we get to D, but we cross this next battery, 16, and we hit the short line first. So then that's going to be uh, minus 16. So when we calculate that out, the total is going to be minus 6 volts. So going f the voltage going from A to D then would be minus 6 volts. So the next one we want to look at is going to be VCD. So we'll put that right here. So now, uh, as we look at this one, we're going from point C around the curve to D. So let's see what happens when we do this one. So uh, as we start to look at that, we go from C, and here we encounter our first uh, battery source, and we see that in the direction that we're going, we hit a small line first, so then that'll be negative. So in this case then, V, C, D, uh, we will have a negative 20. And then as we continue down this path to the point D, you see we encountered another battery. And again, we hit the small line first. So again, <clears throat> that would be minus 16. And then we're, we're done because we've gone from C to D. We add this up, we should have minus 36 volts. So that means if we were to take a voltmeter and put one lead on C and one lead on D, we should measure negative uh, 36 volts. All right, for the next one, uh, we are going to say the VB. And so when there's only one uh, letter, that means we follow the path to ground, um, which in this case, uh, ground is this symbol here. So keep that in mind. So if we look at this one, we start with uh, point B and start to ground. So here's our first leg. And you see we encounter the little line first. So it's a minus 16. So our V, B, then is gonna be minus 16. And then as we continue, one more, totally get to ground. 
You'll see we hit the long line first, so that's a positive. So then that's going to be plus 8. And so when we add those up, we should come up with a negative 8 volts. And then finally, uh, we want to take a look at VC. So in this case, we start with C and go to ground. So let's, uh, let's write that. So VC. We will start with C and we go to this leg first. And again, we hit the small line first, so it's a negative. So it'll be minus 20. Keep going. This next leg, you see we hit another one, mine, the small line first, so it's another negative. So that's minus 16. And we got one more uh, component to go through before we get to ground. And so that'll be right here. And we can see we hit the long line first, so that one will be positive. So in this case, it'll be plus 8. So when we add those up, it should be negative uh, 28 volts. And then finally, uh, if we want to look at uh, the last one that they ask us to look at, again it says VA, so I'll just reuse my yellow. and. Um, here we have VA. So if we start to look at that, we start at this point. First uh, component we hit, so we hit the long line first. So then that should be a positive 10. And then as we continue down, uh, we hit the small line first. So that should be a minus 16. And then finally, we hit the long line first on this battery. So that should be plus 8. And so when we add all of these up, we should get 2 volts. And so uh, just a quick example showing uh, how batteries in series relate to each other.